right to put the arms in the shoulder holes are smaller than the arms this thing this this tripod I've got keeps drifting away I feel like I feel like I'm on a seaside dock somewhere and um, right so basically here's our sleeve and this part around here is longer than the hole it's going into so here we will use some ease so ease is uh, basically it's a line of gathering stitches across here so that we can manipulate by gathering up the fabric um, we can manipulate the circumference here so all we're going to do is just match up everything there we go okie doke and from the inside at the edge, close to the edge, what we're going to do is from the points marked on the sleeve pattern, we are going to chuck our threads out the back, put our foot down. We're going to turn our tension to two, okay, and we are going to take a stitch length of four. No back tack this time. Oh, it would help if I was on straight stitch. So no back tack. All the way to the other dot. Sewing through the lining. And the fabric. And just take the work out. So we're going to do it again on the other sleeve. It's good having two arms, isn't it? You get a practice run. And, and a proper run. <laughs> right, so again, tension two, stitch length four, and round we go. So this is also gonna add puffiness. This is a set in sleeve. We want the arm to billow out at the top and then come in where it's cheered for the sweetest little effect. Right, so leave quite a long tail. And then all we're going to do is pull one of the threads. You can see that starting to gather. Okay. So do that around the other side as well. Just where I did my... No, it isn't the one I did my zigzag on. Okay, typically I'm trying to show you and that's not moving so come back to the others that happens to you come back to the other side and just move your gathers along space them out can you see how that's gone into a sort of a puff ball delicious and then we'll do it on the other one oh, I know I manked up that side because I did some stupid zigzags because I wasn't looking what stitch I had on um, so we'll take it from this end Well, we would if it would work. And there we go. Just a case of a bit of force. So anyway, gather those up like that. And then the idea is that when you turn your dress inside out, keep your sleeve the right way out to pass the sleeve in through the bodice. There it is. Right. And the idea is that if you keep your wits about you and find the fabric of the bodice and the lining of the bodice in there, and then find your underarm seam of your sleeve, and we're just going to match those. So match those up pop in a pin. Pop your pin going from outside to inside so that you can remove them when you sew. Now we're going to go up to the top, the shoulder seam, and we're going to take roughly half the sleeve up to there. 
So I don't know, I think that'll be okay. Pop that in there. This would be a really good thing to tack if you're at all perplexed or worried by it. And tacking, you can see how it works. Tacking is basically just a really loose running, a long running stitch. And you can see how things work. And if they're not working, you can make adjustments. So we have got to pull our gathering stitch tails out there. Right, now we have got enough ease to get up the back but not up the front so just matching this opening all the way around it is fiddly if I can do it you can do it so I think that mm, maybe that could come a little bit that way just going to move some gathers across now you may need to gather up more, you may need to gather up less. I think we need a bit more. So I'm going to pull my tail. Try and get a few more gathers on to decrease that circumference of that arm. Oh, I've broken it. Rats. Okay. Try the other end, Cheryl. Good to know which threads which actually typical okay so that's the technique see this is very gathery and this is not very gathery so move a few of the gathers space them out very evenly now the idea is that you don't actually sew them as gathers they lay flat at least that's that's the, <laughs> that's the idea you're going to take a couple of goes to get this right if you haven't done it before because I am taking a couple of goes at it and I'm supposed to be teaching you. Uh, it's not my favourite thing, I have to say, but it is an extremely important dressmaking technique that needs to be uh, needs to be learned about. Actually, I don't think we're that far off. I think we've missed a bit of the bodice fabric here. Yep, you naughty. Let's pull that up through. There we go. It would be awful, wouldn't it, to sew your arm in and realise you hadn't caught the main fabric. So, see how it slipped down there? Little bugger. <laughs> Excuse my French. But that is how I feel about this right now. Um, Go and pull that up so that's okay. We've got all the bits there. <clears throat> I'm just taking out the one at the bottom because I can see that we can actually fit round now. Just about. Just want to check that that bodice is in there. Oh, my God. Come on. Right. Yes, yes. Yes, I think. Yay. Okay. Right. Well, there's a, a little bit of gathering going on there. I think that's okay. I think it's mostly the lining. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew that in. Wish me luck, people. This would be awful if it goes wrong. Uh, not as awful as when I couldn't do a buttonhole on live TV. Eh, we've all got our we've all got our crosses to bear. <laughs> but mine is being a div on the telly. Um, right, okay. So gently, slowly, in the round. So we're going in a circle. 
we're going to put this sleeve in. Make sure you put your tension back and your stitch length back to two before you do that. Pins are going to have to get pushed in further. Don't really want to take it out. I have to take your foot off the machine. No, his little head's still going to go under the foot. There we go. Right. And so here's where our little bit of ease starts. wouldn't think that the smallest thing on the whole outfit will be the one that causes all the trouble but it's always the way having to be quite thoughtful and mindful of my pins here oh it's nearly over a few millimeters to go If you do this first time, honestly, email me with a super happy face because I will be so thrilled for you. And I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear about when you've done things and you're really proud of them. Actually, I love to hear when you've done things and you've mucked them up because it means we can go through it together, find out what went wrong. So that's in setting the sleeve. Don't cut anything off until you've checked it. 